Hey, Mr. Wiz here from Smooth Technology. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about these sound from ultrasound speakers that we built. Uh, they allow you to create what people in the past have called a sound laser or an audio spotlight. What it does is it allows sound to come out of the speaker and travel in an incredibly directional way so that you can point it at someone and they hear it, you point it away and they don't hear it and they could be far away uh, and it still works. I just want to talk a little bit about how it works. Uh, so the idea here is that we're using these ultrasonic speakers. What they do is they, they actually create sounds that are ultrasonic. They're, they're higher than our ears can hear. But they use that ultrasonic frequency to get over to your ears and then create a lower frequency that's actually within the, your, your human uh, hearing range, which is like up to about 20,000 hertz frequency. And these transmit at 40,000 hertz, which is way higher than we can hear. And you think, well, if it's transmitting something that we can't hear, how does it create something at the end of the day that we do hear? And the idea is pretty simple. Uh, the 40,000 hertz that this sends out is what we call carrier frequency. We can send out 40,000 hertz, now that's a vibration of air, and we can modulate the amount of power that we're sending across. Basically, we can make it almost louder and quieter. And when we make it louder and quieter, and it hits your eardrum, well, when it gets louder, it pushes your eardrum a little bit back, and when it gets quieter, your eardrum comes a little bit back forward. Now, if it changes or modulates from louder to quieter at a regular frequency, say 500 times a second, your eardrum will actually move back and forth 500 times a second, and you'll hear a pitch. That's actually within like the trumpet, the range of like a trumpet. So it's using this frequency that we can't hear to transmit energy to vibrate your ear in a frequency we can hear. Now, if you can do that, and you can vibrate an, an ear kind of in a, a predictable way, then you can make multiple frequencies. You can make all kinds of sound. Because really, at the end of the day, your ear is just a one-dimensional thing that's moving back and forth. And it, if that seems like a crazy idea, because uh, you, know, you hear an entire symphony through that, uh, just think about a record player. A record player works the same way. The needle really is just one-dimensional. It moves up and down as the bumps go underneath it. And it goes to the horn and it vibrates, it vibrates the speaker. Incidentally, the speaker is all also one dimensional. All it can do is really move back and forward, yet it can produce an entire orchestra's worth of sound. High frequency sounds are much more directional than low frequency sounds. And here's an example of, of that in life. If you hear a car go by with a really loud, great sounding stereo, when it's around the corner, you can usually hear the bass when it's coming around the corner. But it's not until the moment where it passes right in front of you and the open window passes by you that you can hear the hi-hat and all the other high frequencies that are in the music. And that's because high frequencies travel very, very directionally. And low frequencies spread out and go around corners and bounce. So the higher a frequency is, the more kind of linear the path it takes, especially when we're traveling uh, as sound or, or air pressure uh, disturbances through the air. And so this uses that phenomenon to pass uh, audible frequencies, lower frequencies, to you. So that's the idea. And uh, let's, let's see it in action. All right, now, my microphone's right here, so you'll see it when I point it here. You'll hear it when I point it at, it, at me. Oh, now I hear it. Now I don't. That's it.